Good afternoon, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. Uh, as I said, I used to be a fitter, I was a fitter for 20 years and this is one of the ones that I did. I've done a lot of um, really cool, interesting ones and I don't really sort of um, put up the, the, a lot of the work that I've actually done in the past because I'm not trying to show people my workmanship that I used to do. And I was uh, registered with uh, an association in the UK for, I think, before they were actually there. Um, with, I was associated with another association, and I'm not going to mention any names, but um, I ended up with the association that everybody's with now. And um, this is one of the appliances that I actually put put in. This is that sandstone fire surround, which is absolutely stunning and that we're burning stuff but these are the days when you could fit these and not fit them with a liner so you could have a, a gas fire a gas fire you could have like a just register plate with inspection hatches on either side and um but it um i'm, I'm trying to be uh, obviously for privacy reasons I'm trying to just give you like a, a zoom out of it but um, yeah that's one of the fireplaces that i fitted it's got a lovely stove in there I've probably done it now, to be fair. It's got to be at least 10, 15 years ago. I used to do a lot of um, of this, these sort of installations. Um, I've done them all over my local area and other areas and that. It's been something I, I really used to love and enjoy doing. And I thought I'd share that with you. Because um, a lot of you just think that I'm just a chimney sweep, but I'm not. I'm a chimney specialist and I have been for a very long time. I've got all the qualifications. People say to me, I've had messages before in the past, which, I, as I said, if, you, if you're negative to me, I'll just block you and delete you off, off, off my channel because this is my channel. And, and all I want to do is, tr is show people how to do things um, from my experiences or, or from customers' experiences. But I, I wanted to show you the, the sort of workmanship that I'm capable of doing, and this is one of them. And, and basically, um, what I did was um, I put this fireplace in and um and then and then i put a wood burning stove in there so um it's, it's really stunning obviously i can't show you too much because obviously they, they've got uh have photos and books and all sorts of things and and the, the, the actual customer that is, is put in but then with these um what i did was i put um if you can see up here inspection hatches which which have got uh, like wing nuts here they're called register plates Basically, what you do is you have uh, got one on either side, and then um, it needs a bit more fire cement around there. In fact, no, it doesn't. It's fine actually. Got a bit of a bit of water rust around there, but um, and and then basically, um, yeah, that that's that's what I did. I put put this in uh, without a liner because you didn't need to put liners in. All you need to do is a soundless test on them. So um, and and um, it looks lovely. It's been in, as I said, for about, it must be about 15 years now this appliance has been in for. And, and, and they love it. It's great. It's got a fantastic uh, 12, uh, it's a really old house. It's got a beautiful 12 uh, uh, chimney pot on the top. Um, and it, it's, just, it's just stunning. I absolutely love it. And the great thing is, like I always say, if you're going to go for these sort of uh, style fireplaces, uh, fire surrounds, should I say, you don't... You, don't worry about trying to keep these clean because they're not going to stay clean. See all the marks on it? It's good. It's good to have the marks on it because if you if you start worrying about marks, look, there's chip marks, stuff like that on the side, it's good. It gives it, gives it character and it makes it older. And the thing is, if you start trying to worry about how, how do I get this clean, I can understand it with slate and stuff like that, but these, these sort of things, I, 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 don't, I don't get it's pointless it's just not worth it so it's just like literally just like um let them be what they be because you you can open them up and the bits going to drop out as you can see look because you can tell always tell with them my customers because look they leave the ash in there see and they do that for a reason they don't do it because they're lazy they do it because it burns more efficiently and better and it's got a crack in it and um, that crack's been in there for years. And, they're, they're, you know, as I say, if they, if they get all put back together, baffle plate's looking a bit warped. But it's still fine because it's stopping the flame going up in the chimney. So there's no issues there. It's got a carbon monoxide detector. 
you know like um, I've just done a customer of mine who was a fireman you know like um, so you know I, I do things um, in a safe way I'm not as I said I'm not just a chimney sweep I, I do all sorts of aspects of work and I just wanted to show this just to, to quieten some people down because I get some stupid comments every now and then and um, and like eat your words this is one of my babies I've got loads of these but I don't I don't tend to do that I don't tell you about the associations I've been a member with and stuff like that because I'm, I'm not into all that. All I, all I want to do is to share my knowledge with you. Uh, that's all I want to do is, is share you, show you the things that I've learned and show. And I wanted to show you this because it's like one of my favourite uh, fire surrounds and wood burners that I've done. And I just wanted to share it with you so that you can see it and then you can say like, that you know like um this guy um he's just trying to share his knowledge because they, they, they want to they're talking about trying to ban these appliances so who knows they might not be around after a while it's sweeping them in this type of way you couldn't have I, I think you can actually i think the association i was a member with i did one recently and and then the gap from the side to the wall was very narrow but as you can see on this one it isn't and the thing is it's like um and, and, and I mean, it's not like in America where you build your houses of wood. Um, but we, but, you know, these, these houses, some of these houses are like 14th century, you know, and, and they're brick, they're fire, but they, there's no way that the bricks are going to catch light. Um, so uh, it's, um, yeah, it's amazing. I'm pretty impressed with it. And, and then it, and I just always, as I do, I always check to make sure that the, the actual uh, rope's all fine, which it is, it's all in fantastic order and everything. I really wanted to share this with you because I, 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 I go to all uh, jobs that I've, I've fitted the stoves every single day. And if you ever go on my Facebook page, you'll see loads of the stuff that I do. What I do on my, my YouTube channel is I basically just put stuff to help people, uh, just give them the advice how to do things uh, and, and, like, um, and, and like show them because you have to remember the traditional ways, yes, we have modern ways, and yes, I, I'm not a big fan of power vac, uh, sweeping because I think it damages the, ch the chimney, then the, it does more damage than good. It might, that's, my, that's my personal opinion. It, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's, not, uh, if it's not other people's personal opinion, that's my personal opinion. I think to myself that if something works, like, like with these, why, why does this need a liner? This house is like three, 400 years old, it doesn't need a liner. This chimney's three, four hundred years old and it's worked fine. So why would it need a liner that's going to last 25, 30 years, if you're lucky, 40 years? And then you're going to have to replace it. But the chimney's still going to be here. So that, that's what, what, what I say when I... And then you've got these power sweeps and they, 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 they end up taking off out the liner of the chimney. And, and I'm not a big fan of it. When, when, when a way of doing it was really, really successful in the past... And it still is now. And I get a lot of, lot of people coming to me, like I was talking to my friend who's a fireman on my previous job, and he, he was, we were talking about um, the exact same thing about the, 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 with power sweeping and with traditional sweeping. <clears throat> and he prefers the traditional sweeping. So like, you know, and it's kind of like, where else do you get your advice from, from the people that have to deal with these problems when they go wrong and everything, so. I don't want to like sort of um, brag about the things that I've done in the past, but you have to remember I've been doing this job for 24 years now. And I just wanted to just show you some of the work that I do as well, because I do a, I do all sorts of stuff and everything, but I thought it'd be nice to just share that with you. Anyway, have a great afternoon and I love your support. And um, if if you can come up with any great content, because my brain is running out of stuff to, to uh, talk about, and show you because I feel like I think I've done nearly 500 videos. I think I've had nearly 300,000 views, over 10,000 hours of viewing. Uh, I kind of like I'm, but I'm trying to think of new content to, to give you, new advice, new tips. As if, if there's anything you need to know, any advice or anything like that, please feel free anytime. That's what, as I said, I always wanted to make this a community channel. If you don't agree with stuff I say, that's fine. I, I, I I'm really up for that. But if you're rude and disrespectful, you will be uh, deleted and blocked off the channel because, 
the great thing is this is my channel and if you don't like my content you don't have to watch it but um, to everybody in the US, UK, um, in Australia, wherever you are in the world, you know, um, Ireland, wherever, Scott, uh, wherever you are, um, I hope you have a fantastic day. It's getting dark now because the, uh, the autumn is becoming and the leaves are dropping and it's beautiful. It's my favourite time of year. So have a great day from Zachary, from Zachary Sweeps. Have a great night tonight. And um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.